Coffee is one of the most popular beverages in the world. It's tasty, it's cheap, well at least most coffees, it's effective and yes, it's a drug. I have drank 4 cups of coffee a day and I've drank no coffee for weeks. Today I want to tell you which one of these options might be better for you and why it isn't as easy as it sounds. The working ingredient of coffee is caffeine. Whenever your brain depleted energy, adenosine will build up and minimize the communication in the nervous system. Adenosine is the caring mother figure, which tells the brain to chill down, you've done enough work. Caffeine works more like a general officer, it tells the adenosine to go away and the brain to get the shit together. It blocks the adenosine buildup by binding onto the adenosine receptors in the brain which prevents you from feeling tired. But your body isn't stupid. If you frequently drink coffee and the caffeine molecules will continue to block the adenosine receptors, your tiring brain will get angry pretty soon and simply will build new adenosine receptors. This will leave you in a vicious circle because you now have to drink more and more coffee to feel the same wakefulness effect as before. Which means that if you stopped drinking coffee now, you would feel way more tired than you would have felt without coffee in the first place. So this adaptation creates some kind of addiction which makes you spending money day in and out for a beverage that leaves you worse off in the long term, productivity wise, but not health wise. If you compare heavy coffee drinkers to non-coffee drinkers and ignore the negative effects of smoking because heavy coffee drinkers are more than 6 times as likely to smoke, the heavy coffee drinkers have a lesser risk for death. Why? Because if you think about it, coffee is generally beans with water. Coffee contains more than 1000 compounds with tons of antioxidants. Antioxidants help slow down aging, make you recover faster and prevent cancer. Coffee contains so much antioxidants that it's considered the main source of antioxidants in the American diet. Which isn't a highly competitive position though, I mean beer comes to play 7 by the way. Congratulations Americans. So is coffee bad? It depends. If you drink it to increase your productivity, drink it sparingly. Your body adjusts to the caffeine and builds adenosine receptors, which makes you feel more tired than before. Caffeine can also interfere with your sleep pattern and your ability to relax. Caffeine has a half-life of 6 hours, which means it takes about 2 full days to completely clean it out of your system. During this time, it can still mildly affect your sleep quality. Health-wise, coffee shouldn't pose a problem though, because the beans have so much positive effects that they may negate the negative ones of caffeine. If you want to go to the safe side though, drink a cup of matcha green tea, which is even better than coffee antioxidants-wise.